Welcome back to this introduction to the Network Material Create node in Katana. In the previous video, we set up a simple shading node network for a diffuse texture. Now I'm going to show you how you can copy and paste nodes from previous networks into the Network Material Create node to bring in the roughness, normal and displacement maps. So jump out of the Network Material Create node and select the roughness, normal and displacement file nodes as well as the two color correction nodes. Copy them and jump back inside the Network Material Create node and paste them there. If any of the nodes were connected before, they will stay connected. So the normal file and its color correction are still linked together. The other color correction node belongs to the diffuse file. So we can feed this in now. All the UV coordinates inputs from the file nodes need to be connected to the out UV on the place 2D texture node. The roughness input on the DL principled node takes a float value, so we can connect it to the out color R output from the roughness file. The out color from the normal map color correction node can be plugged straight into the normal map value. We didn't copy the displacement shading node over, so let's add one now. Connect the out color R output from the displacement file to the displacement input. Finally, we just need to make some adjustments to the shading nodes themselves to achieve a more realistic texture. So open the parameters for the displacement shading node and change the scale to 0.4. Then open the principled shading node parameters and change the base specular to 0.1 to give a more realistic representation of a stone texture. Under the Bump Normal Displacement dropdown, change the type to Normal Map Direct X, as the file we're inputting is a normal map, and change the intensity to 0.5 to reduce artifacts and avoid a grainy texture on the render. And there we go! We've set up the shading node network, and the rendered result is the same as it was from the previous network. In the next video, I'll introduce you to the shading group node, and some other useful features for organizing your network.